Here we go again, M. Night Shyamalan, another movie. He famous hits and miss. I mean, he been doing this for almost, what, 22 years? A lot of hit movies, a lot of miss movies, and he's famous for don't deliver a good story. Here we go again, old. I've been wanting to see this movie because when I saw the trailer, I said, this is interesting. Uh, the cast, most of it is not, you recognize most of the people, but it's him. It's your story of this director who is famous for it. And this is a, a, a retreat, it's an island where everybody go on vacation. This family go with two kids, go on vacation, and go to retreat island, and go to the private island, and little by little, everybody who go into the island can get out of there and getting old. And is it worth it? Is this one of those movies? They say, it's a finally, he made a big deal and it's worth it to go and buy it. Which is, oh my gosh, another hit. Give me a break. You are in your reviews. I'm Frankie D. Don't forget to subscribe. Give me a like if you can. Uh, I put it all nighter. I went and did two movies at the same time after 11 hours of work. <laughs> just first one I did old, then I did Snake Eyes. Don't forget, look at my Snake Eyes uh, review here. So I'm gonna finish right now. Is uh, one o'clock in the morning, one thirty. I'm gonna be working until six o'clock with the other reviews and go to work. But it's okay because these two movies are important and people want to see it. I want to give you my opinion as a fan. Forget Rotten Tomato. Forget all the opinion as a fan of the movies. And M. Night Shyamalan, it's just we know him. It's just he hits so many good movies and so many bad movies. And this story, like I said before, it's just retreat, the family going and just, I don't want to tell you too much of it, what the story say because... If you want to go watch this movie, I don't want to give you any spoilers. But one of the thing is, these people are getting old and old and old, and they're going like one year every half an hour. So they try to get away from there, try to figure out how they can survive, and what's going on, why this happened. I gotta tell you, I just didn't expect that this is gonna be a great movie. I have my, uh, let's see, you know, it's just, it's not gonna be an unbreakable, it's not gonna be a six sense, but, uh, maybe, maybe. And I was surprised. I like it. And not many people probably going to like it. You know, because his reputation, they always going hard on him. This is not the best movie he done. He's not the best thriller horror movie that it is. This is not the best of his career. But it's not bad. It's good. It's good design. It's good acting. Most of the actors you don't recognize. You recognize it, but there are no major stars. Uh, the direction is good. I got a problem a few times with the camera. When he go around with the camera all around and shaking too much. And that bothered me. I don't know why directors start using a lot of that. They shake and it's out of the focus. I don't know what's going on with that. Dude, can you just put it a little bit slower? I just, I hate when they do that. And a director with the trajectory he does, with so many movies, why he did that, I don't know. I don't understand. But the key is, of course, he appeared in the movie. He appears always as an actor in many movies that he done. Most of them, almost in every movie, he always appeared in one part. And he got a good part in this movie. But is it worth it? It's, it's, it's interesting. It's an hour and 50 minutes. It's going to catch you on it. Is it really is worth it to see it. It's going to give you a good ending because this is a problem with him. It could be a good story, it could be a good acting and really crappy ending. He doesn't know how to close the story. He doesn't know how to close the movie. And this time, I gotta tell you, surprise, surprise, to me, I like it. I like it. It's not one of his best, but it's a good movie. To me, I had a good time, a good twist in the end. I like it. And it's a go, it must go or don't go. To me, it's a go. I don't say it's a must go, but it's a go. You have time to go to the movies. You want to see something of these movies like him, a thriller, a horror, it's just a suspense movie. This is a movie for you. This is going to be a good time because, believe it or not, he delivered. It's a go, guys. I, I got to tell you, 
It surprised me. I didn't expect I'm gonna like it. But to me, I had a good time. And everybody else in the theater, I was the first show in the afternoon, late and early night. I was a half pack, applauding the end and liked the movie. I'm not the only one. I don't know Rotten Tomato what it is. I don't give a crap. I don't know what other reviews are gonna say. But as a fan, the movies and the light go. If you had to spend the money, this is a good time to spend your money. If you're gonna spend your pass, dude, you don't pay. Deal with it, of course. And you agree with me? Do you like this movie? Do you enjoy it like I did? If you did, give me a like. If you don't, what happened? Disappointed like other movies that he done? Give me down. Until the next time, support your movie theater, support your TV shows, support your video games. Give me a hand. These all nighters doing these two movies. I don't know if I'm going to survive tomorrow and work, but I will. Hit my face with Yoda and subscribe for the love of God. <laughs> and just hit my other reviews until the next time. And stay safe. Support your movie theaters. And thank you. Ciao.